Hello again and welcome to PBC Northgate Meditation Moment. My name is Sam Magu and I'll be taking you through this brief time of meditating on God's Word because God's Word is life. God's Word is light. God's Word is direction for life. Our meditation today will come from Romans chapter 5, verse 6, all the way to verse 8. The Bible says this, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person. Though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Paul is speaking to the Romans and he's telling them that at the right time, when we were still powerless, when we were not even thinking about Jesus, when we, even most of us had not come on the scene, the Bible says that God sent Christ to die for us so that we may be reconciled back to him, so that we may have fellowship with him back again. God loves us and will never ever leave us to the throes of Satan if we believe in him. Today, as we look at life, are there any issues that are causing you to drift away from God? Is there any sin in your life or things that you don't want to let go because you think that God will judge you? Are there things that you've done and you think that God is waiting to judge you like a bully? He's waiting for you at the gate to take away your lunch. God is not malicious. God is not a bully. He loves you so much that even when you are not thinking about him, he sent his son to die on the cross for you. Today, I challenge you, as I also challenge myself, to take time and sit and just meditate on the fact that God died for a sinful person, the righteous for the unrighteous. God sent his son to die on the cross so that you and I may be reconciled back to God, so that there is, there is no longer any hostility between God and myself between God and you. God loves you. God will never take his eyes off you. Whatever season you are in, whatever situation you are going through, his eyes are on you, like, like his eyes are on the sparrow. God will give you a way out. His love is from everlasting to everlasting. He demonstrated this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We live in a world where we love each other because of various reasons. God's love for you and I is unconditional. He does not expect anything in return. He does not expect you to do anything. All he expects you to do is believe in him. Put your faith in him through Jesus Christ alone. Then you can receive him into your heart. Today, I challenge you. Have you accepted Christ in your heart? Have you allowed him to come and reside and direct everything that you're doing? Direct your speech, direct your business, direct your family, direct your ministry. Whatever it is that you are struggling with today, the love of God will point you in the right direction. Allow Christ to come in. Allow Christ to quell, to quell those storms that are in your heart. Allow Christ to take away all the fears all the anxieties and all the worries that you're facing and let his peace that surpasses all understanding reign in your heart. Let his unspeakable joy reign in your heart. Today, you can give your life to Christ. You can pray a sinner's prayer. And then after that, you can go to a Bible-believing church and from there, get in a Bible study, learn how to pray, grow in fellowship, grow in witnessing as you become the child that God created you to be. May God give you a wonderful week. May God give you a wonderful month. Wherever you are tuning to us from, may God bless you. And remember that God's love is from everlasting to everlasting. God bless you and give you a wonderful week. Shalom. Mm -hmm.